Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas to all of you. I think it's close enough for that to be said now. I hope that if you're not finished with your Christmas to-dos that you are getting very close and about to settle in and just enjoy the rest of this amazing season. On today's video, we're going to be finishing up our hosting endeavors. Normally, our family and I host our office at least a couple times a year. This year, we did things a little bit differently, so I'm going to show you how we will be spending our Christmas Eve dinner together with just our immediate family, but I'll also still be sharing with you a lot of hosting tips while I do so. My favorite DIY will be within this video, and we are finally getting around to Lola's room. All that and more, let's get into it. We're gonna pick up where my last video ended. If you happen to miss it, we dyed these napkins. I did a different dyeing effect on each one of them. They are a lot more green in person. They've got a little bit of a mossy hue, which was exactly what I was going for. Basically, I just wanted them to have a very natural variations in their colors. There are several natural types of material that have a tendency to be really wrinkly. If wrinkles aren't your thing, this definitely isn't the material for you. For me, it's not something that bothers me. It actually gives me an excuse not to have to steam or iron them. For the napkin style, I went for a super easy fold. I basically folded it over three times long ways and an offset half fold the other direction. And I don't think I went a single video without using this ribbon and quite a few of the videos I used the silver stars. I can't stress enough how few materials you actually need to make things beautiful. You can see there was only a few new things I purchased this year, but I just used each of them in different ways and they look like completely different materials and pieces within each project. Once I've folded the napkins in half, I'm taking that leftover ribbon, placing the silver stars on it, and just doing a quick little tie. I love adding little trinkets onto the napkins. One, of course, because it adds a little extra detail to your table, but two, the guests can always take them home and use them as an ornament and a little memorabilia to remember your party. The napkins were reading a bit cold to me, so I wanted to add a little bit of a natural touch and I just went outside, clipped a few pieces from one of our trees and slid it in there. I'm always surprised how much a little fresh piece of greenery adds to whatever it is that I'm doing. Whenever I'm hosting for a larger event, I try to walk through the house and look at each each piece of furniture that I have available with a fresh set of eyes. For instance, you can take your side tables, desks, and consoles, move them to wherever they would be most functional, and assign them a new task for however long you need them. These pieces can become coffee bars, drink stations, dessert tables, you name it, they're good for it. I try not to go out of my way to buy any fancy glasses or dishes. Blake and I started hosting larger parties about six years ago, so I set out to purchase just really neutral dishes that I could use for every single season. No matter what type of party you're hosting, a simple white dish will always do the trick. If you're wanting to add a little something to them, I like to add a colored drink that will match the decor of my table setting. I try to create as little stress as possible when I'm hosting because I know there was a million things to do. So during the holidays, it can be really simple to use drinks that have flavors that are in accordance with the season and the color as well. 
cranberry juice mixed with some sparkling water can be a really great option for the holidays and you add an extra pop of color with no added cost. Assigning dual purposes to functional items is a really great way to add additional design elements at no added cost. Very budget friendly. For extra surface space, I took one of the desks from upstairs and it is going to be doubling as both an hors d'oeuvre table and later flip to a hot cocoa and dessert station. And as you can see, I had some leftover ribbon. I just took it and strung it over the branches. This is something you can do on your Christmas tree, wreaths, anything. Also, if y'all had a dollar every time I talked about this ribbon over this series, you'd be rich. I am very well aware of that, so apologies for that. Another thing I planned on doing for the tree that you saw in the previous few shots, the kids and I use clay ornaments every year and we use little stamps to make them customized to each individual that we give them to and we use cookie cutters to cut them out. This can be done with using air dry clay or oven baked clay, which is what we prefer. We happened to get sick and so a lot of things that I had planned out for the season and this last video unfortunately didn't happen, but hopefully I can put them in other videos to come. And Lola and I use any and every excuse that we can to bake. So here's a little footage of us making homemade gingerbread for a gingerbread house that we're going to decorate. On top of every family member being sick, we've also had construction going on in the nursery. Speaking of that, if you can hear that in the background, my apologies. It will be finished today. I am just beyond excited to share with you a little series that I'll be putting together of me decorating and designing Baby Eye's room, which speaking of, she will be here before we know it. So I am just chomping at the bit to get that finished. One last thing in this little section, I planned on sharing with you my sugar cookie recipe. It is just all the best things wrapped into one. It's all things pretty, no spread, and it takes really good. Normally you have to kind of sacrifice one for the other. I had mentioned on my Instagram account that I would be sharing that, but we got sick. So it's a recipe you can use for all seasons. Um, so my plan is to put it in one of my upcoming Valentine's Day videos or maybe one before that, but it is something that I will be doing. Okay, so we are going to make our way onto the kids area of the house and into Lola Rose's room. When decorating for the kids room, especially for something that is seasonal, I try to make things not be too juvenile because I want to make sure that these are pieces that can last all throughout the years and they're not something that I'm going to have to change as the child grows older. One of my favorite finds during this holiday season was this red and green vintage blanket. I went with burgundy tones throughout the rest of the house, so I thought Lola's room would be the perfect place to put it. All right, now follow me. So Lola is a girl after my own heart. She appreciates handmade things, so I'm always making new things for her. And she is always adding new plants to her collection. In fact, she was quite excited when she figured out we were doing the nursery because she had mentioned that she has one more room to put her plants in. And referring back once again to making functional things as decor pieces, I am all about utilizing children's books in kids spaces. I've got them for every season and they are all organized based on which season that they fall into. So it's really simple when I am decorating or changing things out, they are already separated and ready to go.
to pair with the other items that I have knitted and crocheted for her. I thought a few of the stockings that I had knitted last year would add the perfect touch of coziness. By this time of year, I've usually already added heavier quilts and linens to all the kids' bedding, but I figured better late than never, right? Not always, but most of the time I go for a pretty neutral quilt color so that I know that it will go with any seasonal decor and it's not something that I will have to continually switch out. It's all about making it as simple as possible for yourself while still enjoying the simple changes. I have to say this was one of my favorite rooms to decorate. I loved this time that we spent together. I loved hearing her input, the pride she had at the end for what she had accomplished. It was just all worth it. This is one of my favorite DIY projects. There are so many variations you can do with it. Lots of different colors, sizes, texture, and you only need a few materials. I went with the neutral colored craft paper. You're going to need a pair of scissors and glue. That's it. Make a few folds, a few cuts, and glue a few pieces together, and you've got a really beautiful, unique Christmas decoration that would be super expensive if you were to purchase it in a store. The holidays have taken on a little bit different of a meaning for me this year. I was raised by my mama and nanny, two of the strongest women I've ever met. Unfortunately, around the holidays last year, within weeks apart, their time on this earth passed. Every now and then, when I look in the mirror, I see glimpses of them and myself. Even more beautiful is their kind, sweet, strong presence that continues to live on through my kiddos. I just wanted to dedicate this last video of the season to them and let any of you know who may be going through a loss or something similar that you're not alone. You are loved, appreciated, and so worthwhile. I'm definitely not ending this video on a sad note. I am just so grateful for everything that they have provided for me, for making me the woman that I am today and for helping me raise my babies into the beautiful, kind-hearted people they are becoming.
Now let's have that final look of the dining room. Santa, I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue I just wanna fall in love this Christmas I don't need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop No, you can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well that nobody else can do what you do I just wanna fall in love I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me this holiday season. You have made it just that much brighter. I have so enjoyed getting to know y'all, creating content that hopefully you guys are benefiting from. If you have, I'd so appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification as well so that you don't miss out on any future content. I would love to hear from y'all in the comment section if you have any design tips or any ideas that I could be throwing in in the next videos. I would just love to hear from y'all. If you don't mind, I will throw the Q&A section at the end of my following video. This will be the last one of the season. I'll try to comment to as many people as I can at the moment. I wish you safe travels, warm wishes, and just that your Christmas is filled with love, joy, peace, and happiness. Fall in love. Just want to fall.